Guys, what's up? My name's Smokey. Welcome back to the channel. I mean, pasta carbonara. What's not to like? Cream, cheese, bacon. This is some good stuff. More of that later. Anyway, my play seat arrived. Tom Coronel, rally driver from the Netherlands. I bought his seat. Let's unbox it. I'm uh, really gonna miss this old geezer. Like I said last time, I got it when I was 16 years old. I'm now 35, so that means this puppy and this letter, well, it's not really a letter, it's like fake and cheap ass letter, but anyway, it's 19 years old. And we had some good memories, but I'm sorry, friend, it's time to go. A box inside a box. Well, what do you know? Hmm. For a 400 euros or 400 dollar seat, they, yeah. Hmm. That's a ton of stuff for uh, just an office chair, but uh, let's, uh, let's make it a little bit better. And I do know for sure that a lot of you guys, if you buy a chair like this and you really like it, you want to put it into your car. Yes, I know, I know, I've been there too. I bought a nice chair before and tried to put it in my first car. Uh, didn't work out that well. Turns out it's pretty dangerous to do so. I couldn't find any metal brackets, so I used wood brackets. I made brackets out of wood and mounted like a really sofa kind of chair in my first car. Until a friend said like, that ain't safe. I was like, yeah, yeah, I should have finished school. No, I don't. <laughs> For some nasty reason, these wheels are uh, sticky. It smells funky too. Good thing they were on the floor.
And there we go. That's that. Let's put it on the ground. Wait a second. When I buy things that are mostly metal, I always look at the welds and the well welds tell a lot about the people who made this chair. And I think the guy who welded my chair, yeah, I think it was his first day on the job, so I'm gonna cut him some slack. Like, I mean, I understand it's it's not a thousand or two or three thousand dollar seat. It's a 400 euro, 400 dollar seat. But still, I mean, if I left some welds like this when I was in school, my teacher would have probably hit me in the face and uh, put me in a locker. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a good weld. I do have to say, like this armrest. Now that's kind of cool. So if you keep twisting it, like that look. It keeps going up. That's cool. Feels plasticky, but uh, I guess you don't change arm resistance all day long. Sometimes I am impressed that for just four little screws, they added a screwdriver. I know it's not the best quality screwdriver, but I'm guessing if you sell a couple thousand chairs, screwdrivers do cost a lot of money. Uh, I gotta say, for the money, it's not that bad. It's pretty decent. A couple of things I uh, I don't really like, but like I said, it's not a very expensive chair. This this is one of the things I, I don't like. Yeah, that's it's it's a little bit flimsy. Flimsy is that a word? Flimsy. Must be. If not, it is now. For the money, like I said, $3.99, $3.99, not that bad for an office chair looking like a race car seat. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that, only the armrests are a little bit, like I said, they're a little bit on the flimsy side. And the welds, well, that guy should be fired because he, not fired, you're not firing anyone because, well, his welds are bad. You just uh, gotta train him some more. So everybody has got a screwdriver at home. So. Uh, don't add any screwdrivers and for the money you save with not adding any screwdrivers get that welder get that welder some training just get the guy some training do not fire him that's all i got to say about the play seat thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more uh, crappy reviews or me unboxing stuff and uh, talk to you guys in the next video peace god damn it, this is can't do it anymore god damn it Woo!